Hi, I'm Chris Chesno, Program Manager at Callaway Cars. What we're going to talk about today is the 1994 Callaway Supernatural Corvette that raced at Le Mans. In fact, this is the car that after an 18-year hiatus in Corvette racing at the famed Le Mans track, brought Corvette racing back to that facility. So let's take a look at some of the details about the 1994 Callaway LM that make it stand apart from the standard vehicle. Reeves Callaway wanted to go racing and decided that racing at Le Mans would be the perfect way to prove this car's worth in the Corvette racing series. Looking at the shape of the front, you can see that it's unique to the LM. Completely different nose, it's a one-piece nose, and again, in carbon fiber, it's exceptionally lightweight. Specific side gills, rocker panel extensions, and back to the rear, it has specific air extractors as well as ducting in the top of the quarter panels. The massive rear spoiler, which is made out of carbon fiber and tied into the rear of the chassis, is completely adjustable for maximizing downforce depending on track conditions or the track itself. Other components of the body include lightweight Lexan for the glass on the sides and rear of the vehicle, as well as a lightweight rear diffuser to smooth the airflow. In fact, if you look underneath the car, the entire underside of the car is a sheet of carbon fiber, which helps clean the air underneath the vehicle. Looking at some of the other exterior cues of the vehicle, note the massive 18-inch magnesium wheels, which are cast magnesium by RW, and 18-inch wheels, if you think back to 1994, 18-inch wheels were pretty exotic. This vehicle also has massive Brembo brakes, 355 millimeter uh, disc brakes. The vehicle is powered by a 6.3 liter or 383 cubic inch V8 with a single camshaft. Aluminum in construction for both the block and cylinder heads. The cylinder heads also had titanium valves which were very exotic in that time. Inside the Callaway LM, the interior is all business, racing business. Let's take a look. You can see the inside features the carbon fiber detail of all of the major components, special molded door panels in lightweight composites, as well as the full roll cage that's part of the chassis or tied into the chassis. The vehicle features a racing bucket seat, full instrumentation, as well as the shifting mechanisms for the Corvette ZF six-speed manual transmission. This vehicle, her name is Frida, is very important to our company for several reasons. First, it was the very first vehicle that we built as Callaway Competition, and it was also the vehicle that put Corvette Racing on the pole at the 1994 Le Mans race. On its very first outing, capturing pole position in qualifying, unheard of by a small team that had never been to Le Mans before. Throughout the years, uh, it raced in 94 and then again in 95. Its best was finishing second uh, behind the Honda Racing Team, which was a fully funded factory team. And again, as a small group of men racing uh, with true grit, this car really delivered. 